this next piece is called uh, A La Nanigo. It's by uh, Mitchell Peters. So uh, I'll just start by saying Mitchell Peters, he's a really, well this is a really kind of old piece of music. It was written in, uh, in the 60s. Um, and Mitchell Peters, he's a really important figure in the, in the percussion world. I mean, pretty much every percussionist has probably played something by him at one point or another. He's just written so much stuff. Um, but today we're going to play one of his uh, ensembles. And so, a la Nanigo. Uh, Nanigo, that is kind of a general term for uh, an African rhythm. When, when I've seen it referred, I've usually seen it referred to as like an African rhythm in tom tom meter. I don't, um, so that, that's how I've seen it. What does that mean? Uh, it means that the beat, instead of being divided into, into two, it's the beat is divided into, into three parcels, uh, if that makes any sense. <laughs> What that means? <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's um, in a, like I said, African rhythm, usually in a compound meter, and then a la, that means in the style of. So this is kind of in the style of an African rhythm. We're not really using a traditional African instrument, um, but some of the rhythms might, you know, you might hear an African uh, ensemble play something like that. Um, and then obviously Dr. White, uh, he let me conduct this, which I'm really uh, uh, grateful for. It's really a really cool opportunity to get to do. So, yeah. Um, thank you. I uh, hope you enjoy uh, a la Nadia.
we have a little bit of set change moves and instruments around, so you can talk amongst yourselves. You don't have to be quiet. <laughs> so this next piece we're going to be doing is called uh, El Mosquito Marón, Marón, which, yeah, that was my best attempt at that, <laughs> which translates, thank you, which translates to the brown mosquito. Um, yeah, but leave it out on the top of my head. Um, so it, it is a, uh, this piece was written by Adam Campbell, who is one of the members of a Canadian percussion quartet called Torp. They were here. They were here. They did an MAS theater several years ago, yeah. yeah. So, so, but back on stage, this piece is back up here. We're doing it again. <laughs> so carry it on. It's a, uh, it's, it takes a lot of inspiration from Mexican marimba music. It has a lot of mariachi-esque melodies. Um, and on top of that, we have the Peruvian Cajon playing uh, sort of Afro-Cuban uh, syncopated rhythms, um, which, which blends together into a sort of mix of traditional and contemporary music. Um, and you'll notice uh, right off the bat, this piece has a lot of energy. Um, it's, got, it's got yelling, it's got clapping, it's got all that good stuff. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, please enjoy. Please enjoy. El Mosquito.
in this piece, and we also added in a few new exciting instrumentation, uh, notably the castanets. <laughs> Please enjoy. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start off with You're So Cool and 
Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. 
going to take a few minutes to change for this one. Talk about yourselves. So this is our big finale where we're going to play an African arrangement for you. These African drums I bought from a former student that actually went to Africa and had it made. He said they were all made out of the same tree. So that's a pretty big tree. <laughs> so we have the traditional African drums. The large one that Christopher's playing on the end, that's considered the master drum. So he's sort of in charge of this piece. <laughs> and the rest of these are simply support drums. You all have probably seen Jim Bays before. They're like, a lot like congas. And this is called a, a dune dune, which is just like a bass drum. And then back in the back, we have the essentials. The essential, we can't do it without them. It's very important in African music to have the bells. So the double bell is the most important. Hold that up, Hunter, you got that one, yep. That's the one that's keeping us in time. We also have the single bell, which Kelly has there. That's also a timekeeper. And then we have three chihuahua, finger bells. <laughs> and then we have also a ahase. <laughs> okay, so this is a anahu, which is an abbreviation of the three rhythms that are, that are used in this piece, and nasirpa, which is African spelled backwards. Hit it! 